Hi again, just before we start section 8, in case you're wondering that section 7 has disappeared, I decided it wasn't worthwhile making a video. We've done five rounds of granny stripes already and so I've just made them ready to start section 8. Hi again, and we're now on to section 8 of the beach walk blanket pattern. Section 7 here is complete. That's where I left you at the last video and I've done one, two, three, four, five rounds of treble clusters and uh, I'm ready to move on to the next part. Quick word here, you should have 50 clusters along the row, very last row you did, which means 49, 48, 47, 46 clusters, which was the first round after the join as you go. So you have the graphite join as you go, one round of graphite, which is 46, 47, 48, 49 and 50. And of course, you are turning the blanket after each round. Now we're going to be doing the continuous join as you go stitch again, because we're going to be working with the mini grannies and attaching them in this section. So the blanket has to be on the front as the join is always done on the front. So we're all set, ready to join. And first of all, I'm going to bring in my tray of uh, mini grannies because there are rather a lot. You um, can go ahead now and make them up according to the pattern. And I'm just looking back quickly at the pattern. Um, I think there were 104, am I right? Yep, 104 of the pale silver, hint of silver to make. And then different quantities of the other colours, but they're listed. Now, what I've done is I've used a plastic tray, which I bought from a website called the... Oh, dear. I'll, I'll link it. I tell you what it is. It was the really useful box company. And they've got um, lots of different sized boxes on their website that they sell. But this is called an insert tray, I think. It's only a couple of pounds. But it's just perfect for storing my mini grannies. And then once I've got, once you've got them all done, and as you can see, these are just the same as the previous mini grannies. They have um, one round of a granny square. I have finished off the centre like I did before, but left the tail um, from the outer side. So once you've got them all made, which will take a little bit of time, I have to say, but, um, you know, it's an easy one to do when you're watching TV or whatever. Um, then it's time to start attaching them. And what I've done, uh, which we're going to do today, I'm going to put this to one side. And... Using the chart on the pattern that gives you the um, sequence of colours for the each side, I have put onto my knitting needle the first row of mini grannies that we're going to attach. Now this is going to be just a little bit different from the this section of mini grannies because this section went right round the corner. But for this one, just to ring the changes, you're going to do a row attached of mini grannies and then stop without going round the corner. And then a second row attached to the first row and again, not going round the corner. So what you're going to be left with is, and you'll do that on all four sides. So what you're going to be left with is a double row of mini grannies attached on each side but there will be a granny square sized gap in the corner and we're going to fill those four corners with a four round granny square which we'll do later. So for the time being I'm going to show you how to make the two rows on one side and then you can go ahead and make all three sides, all the other three sides. So here's my yarn kebab. <coughs> yarn kebab. I've put the colours in order 
and this is the first colour that we will be attaching. Um, so obviously, like before, it's the very last colour, last mini granny that goes onto the uh, knitting needle first. And the joining colour is the same pale silver. So it's the Stylecraft special hint of silver. So that's going to be the joining colour. This should come quite easily to you because you've done it already. So we'll just start by attaching the colour in a corner and it's, you know, you'll notice that um, the, there is a kind of repeating pattern with these mini grannies. There's the hint of silver every fourth uh, square along. So that's, you'll do one hint of silver, three colours, one hint of silver, three colours. So we're just going to attach and start this one. Back to working with half treble stitches. And it's fairly, it's quite straightforward. One, two, one, two half trebles. So there's your corner as usual. And then start the next corner with three half trebles. One, two, three. So that's the first uh, part attached. Well, it's not attached, but the first side made. So when we've got half of this corner made, we're going up to the corner of the blanket and slip stitching into the blanket as usual. And then three half trebles. Oops, I'm using the wrong. Yeah, I was using the wrong end of the yarn there. Right, three slip stitch, right. And then three half trebles into the same corner to finish it. One, two, three. There you go. You can see that. And then slip stitch into the next space on the blanket. And then three half trebles. One, two, three. And slip stitch into the next space and then we can finish off that corner one two three and down to the bottom I'm just twisting this rather than move the whole blanket one two three so that is the first square attached on three sides as you can see and time to pull off the next one and this is the uh, storm blue color and that will get attached one two three half trebles and we've got a space now up the side because we came down the way so we can slip stitch into that just make sure I'm still on camera and then three half trebles one two and three it's a little bit <laughs> a little bit tight because my yarn is deciding not to come with me here we go Right, and that now gets attached to the blanket. And remember that I quite like the idea of slip stitching into the corner of the previous mini and then also into the blanket and that holds it nice and firmly. One, two, three, to finish that corner, slip stitch into the next space, three half trebles, one, two, three, and slip stitch. 
that is what it looks like. And I'm now going to work all the way along to the end. When I when I say the end, I mean I mean the end of this side. So I'll come back when I've got to that point and show you what happens next. Yes, I've made it to the end of the first side and pleased to see that everything has fitted in beautifully. Remember, if it doesn't fit, it's very likely the fact that you've missed one of the spaces when you've been uh, slip stitching into the blanket. So just check back, look for a, a gap, pull it back to there and um, redo it and I'm sure everything will be fine. Now, this is a very common mistake that um, can happen. Like I said before, we're not going to put one on the outside here and then work round like we did earlier. We're actually going to stop here and not go round the corner. So we've done around three sides of these mini grannies, but there's still the bottom edge to do. And I think that's where quite a lot of people make a mistake because they finish off here and then start the next row of mini grannies and it doesn't fit. So when you get to this point, which is right round three sides of your last square, we're going to swing this whole thing round and it really is getting quite big. So I'll push this under the table and we've turned it round because we're going to work back along to the very beginning. And this is very simple because you've done this before. We've done, we've, we stopped with three uh, half trebles in that corner. So we need to chain two and put in three more half trebles. Two, three. Now, the next thing we need to do is work this corner, which has only got three half trebles in it. So we're going to finish it off with three half trebles, two, three. And do you remember? Chain one, slip stitch into the gap between the two squares, chain one, and three half trebles. One, two, three. So that is now completed all four sides of the first square. And you just need to work along with the same thing happening at the join all the way along, right until you get back to the very first square. And I'll be back at that point to show you what happens next. Now, honestly, that hasn't taken long to work all the way back. Uh, I still have my ends to, st to sew in, but I'll do that when I've finished this second row. And then I'll finish the ends on each side as I go round. So there we are. I got along to the, the corner where we started. And of course, there were just three half trebles in that first corner. So finished it off with three half trebles, chain two and slip stitch in to finish off the yarn. And I've looked out the mini grannies for my uh, second round on this side. So I'm going to swing this back again. and just ignore all these little ends because they'll disappear in the next uh, job to do. Now let's get this into a good position for starting off the second row. Now this works in exactly the same way as the first row. We're going to work up along and down. So I'll just do a couple. And you'll also notice that the second row 
has a different configuration of colours. We've got two of the pale grey, one colour, three grey, pale grey, one colour, three pale grey, one colour. And what that means is that you'll end up with a kind of inverted triangle um, of colours with the, the pale grey in between. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and I'll make the first few and then I'll come back and show you rather, rather than try to explain. I'll show you what I mean. So um, <clears throat> again, I'm working with a tiny end of my uh, pale silver before I move on to my next uh, ball. So it's going to look a bit messy, I'm afraid. Um, so we're going to start in a corner as usual with the first um, square of the knitting needle. Chain two, two half trebles, one, two. And then into the next corner with three half trebles, two, three. Like that. And then I'm going to just find my corner. Now, normally I say don't start and finish in a corner where you've already worked, you know, where you've started and finished, but we have to in this case. So just find your corner space and slip stitch into the corner and three half trebles. One, two, three, and off we go. Slip stitch into this next space and then three half trebles. One, two, three. Now, unlike the first row, remember when you worked this first row, you were working along an edge of granny um, treble stripe. So there weren't any joins that you had to be worried about. Of course, We've got these joins in every, um, you know, between every mini granny. So <clears throat> we have to bear that in mind when we're uh, attaching this. So I've done my first three and I'm going to attach into that. No, tell a lie. I'm not going to attach in there. Let's do this. Done the first three and we're going to attach diagonally over to the next square. Now, if you think back, a way, way back to the very centre when we did the cream continuous join as you go, and then the silver that went round about it, that was what we did when we were joining between the squares in the, the silver round. You were, we were making a kind of cross. So that's what we're doing here. I've slip stitched into the diagonal uh, corner and then finishing this off with one, two, three half trebles and then one, two, three half trebles. And that is my first square of my second round attached and I'll take the next one which is another of the pale silver. And I'll just work this up here to show you and then I'll do a few more and pop back. So first of all, three half trebles, one, two, three. And slip stitch into the space up the side. Your hook kind of finds that space. I don't pull anything apart to look for the space. Just push your hook in. It will find the space quite easily itself. And one, two, three half trebles. And then this time we're going to slip stitch diagonally into this square here. And that keeps everything 
from um, slipping and pulling apart because you've got that cross made. Three half trebles, slip stitch and three half trebles. One, two, three. And then slip stitch diagonally into the opposite square and three half trebles. One, two, three and three half trebles. And then we come to our first uh, colour. Now, see what's happened. You've got one, two, three and one in the middle. So you get this kind of triangular shape. And the same thing will happen after this. There'll be one, two, three of the pale silver <clears throat> and then a colour to go there. So I shall work along and... Um, I'll see you at the other end because we'll turn and come back. And that will be the first side of the four sides of mini grannies finished. So I'll see you in a few minutes. There we go. That's the two uh, rows for this side complete, not complete, but um, all the squares are joined. And yet yeah, don't fall into the trap of thinking that that is the side complete because we've still got to come back along the bottom of the second row to finish it off and um, it's done in exactly the same way as the first row where oh this blanket is now so big um it's done in exactly the same row the same way so we'll chain two to put in the corner and three half trebles in the um, corner and then straight over here and treble th half treble three, chain one, slip stitch into the middle, chain one, three half trebles. And just repeat that all the way along. And then when you get to the end, you can finish off this first corner and, uh, you know, finish off your yarn. And that will be the first side done. Now, for anybody who says it's just beyond me, the idea of um, making all these mini grannies and joining them. Like I said, the mini grannies are a great thing to do when you're watching TV and you can rattle through them, fill up your tray or box or whatever it is with them all and have them ready to join. And the join is quicker than you think. Um, I think this has taken me about two hours if that, to get all these two um, rows done. So I'll probably do the other, uh, the other half, the other side tonight. And uh, that will be half of it. Hi again. Well, the task is done and all my mini grannies are attached on all four sides and um, finished off. Well, I'm going to be sneaky. I'm going to show you one side where I haven't sewn in the ends yet. But <clears throat> I wanted to have this ready to, to video while we still had some decent daylight. But that's what it looks like on the wrong side. If you can see with all the ends finished off and it's lying nice and neatly, two rows of mini grannies, but there is this gap where we have to put a square. And that's what I'm going to be showing you um, today. I've actually, this is my square that we're going to attach, but I'll put that to one side for the moment because I'm going to show you what a corner looks like with the square. I'll get that into position. Okay, uh, what the square looks like once it's attached to the blanket and it fits in very easily. This is actually a little bit smaller than the center squares because it only has three rounds before we do the join as you go. Whereas of course the others had four rounds. <clears throat> and now we've got um, four corners and each square is a slightly different configuration of colors. I've just picked colors from the mini grannies 
um, and it doesn't really matter which corner you put which colour into. Uh, right, I'm just going to show you this was my last side, which I still have ends that I'll have to sew in. That'll be my next job after this video. As I say, I wanted to leave it until I had um, done this video before I do these ends, just because of daylight. Okay, I'm just going to get organised with my yarn and I'll um, be back in two ticks. So I've got my yarn all sorted and I'm ready to join my fourth square into the corner. It's just exactly the same way as joining all the other squares. So we start by doing one side on its own first and it's back to working with half trebles and um, we're working with the hint of silver. The square has got its last round, this um, storm blue colour is on its reverse, but of course the blanket is on the front and this is how we do all the joins. So it is chain two, HTR two, HTR three, HTR three, HTR3. So that's us got the first side of that square complete. And then we just need to slip stitch into the corner of the mini. Make your slip stitch and three half trebles. One, two, three. and then slip stitch into the first space along and three half trebles. It's very straightforward. And the next point that you come to, to put your slip stitch in is actually this midpoint between the two mini crannies. So just pull it apart and put your hook into the middle and make your slip and then three half trebles. Slip stitch into the next space and we're at the corner again. So three half trebles in the corner. One, two, three. And now I'm going to leave it to you to decide what you want to do. You've actually got three different corner spaces that you could slip stitch into. There's this one, this one, and this one. I think probably you'll get away with just slip stitching diagonally into the corner of the blanket. But if you'd rather add an extra slip stitch into the top of one of the mini grannies, that's fine. It makes no difference. And then we're working back along. Finish that corner with three half trebles. One, two, three. And slip stitch, three half trebles, one, two, three. And again, we're at this middle bit. Just find where you can the bit where the two squares join to put in your slip stitch and then three half trebles. And we're nearly finished. One, two, three. Final slip stitch into the mini and three half trebles in the corner. That one is just wanting to play games with me. Let me just pull that back. Three half trebles in the corner. One, two, three. And 
slip stitch into the corner of the mini granny. This is actually an example of why I don't tend to normally finish off these odd ends when they're on the outside. I have in this case finished it off, but what's happened is that it's quite difficult now because I've sewn in that corner end. It's quite difficult to see where the actual corner space is. You've almost got to recreate it because the sewing in the end has filled it in. So that's an example of why I tend to leave my ends normally. Didn't do it this time, but that's why I, I normally leave the ends and sew them in once it's been joined. Right, swing the whole thing round, which is going to be a really big job now. And three half trebles. One, two, three. And then we just have to work along the fourth side with the three half trebles in each space. One, two, three. One, two. I see I'm trying to hurry. Two, three. And then all we have is this very first corner to finish. So it's one, two, three and chain two. Slip stitch into the top of that very first chain two. And that is your square filling up nicely and neatly the corner of the mini grannies. I'll just turn that round and let you see what it looks like. In camera, yeah, there you go. That is your corner finished. Now, before we move on, we've got one more border of uh, the squares to put in. But of course, there are uh, uh, one or two, I think it's one or two, I think it's one, one or two rounds of granny stripe because there's a little bit of tidying up. Uh, these bumpy edges will need to get straightened out with the granny stripe. So I'll pop back in a second. We're just going to tag this onto this section and we'll start off the first round of granny stripes um, and then the next section will be the squares. So back in a second. I've assembled my two colours that the rounds of granny stripe will be done in. The first one is the Stylecraft Special in Mushroom and the next one is Parma Violet. They're two very similar colours but they're quite pale because we are getting lighter again as we come to the outside of the blanket. It has gone in um, waves of light in the centre through dark and now it's getting light again. I've turned the blanket over onto its reverse side and we'll work our first round of granny stripe on the reverse side. So there's nothing to it really. We're just back to working with treble stitches double crochet of course if you're in the US but um, we'll just keep talking about it in trebles and as always chain two and two trebles in the corner one two and the only thing you've got to be careful of of course are the joins when you come to them between the squares. So we've got one or two spaces of just three trebles first. Two, three. One, two, three. like that you can see it and then we've come to the first of the joins and this is the decreasing um treble two together part where we create a cluster over the top of the join so into the first corner and one treble stitch 
into the same corner and half of the treble, but stopping when there's still two loops on the hook, yarn over into the second corner, yarn over and pull through two. There are three loops left in the hook, yarn over and pull through all three. That's the decreasing stitch and then treble one. And that gives you that, um, it keeps the count right and keeps the um, stitches nice and flat. Now we have a space next, one, two, three trebles, but then we're at the next corner because we're working over the top of those minis. So it's one treble, start the next treble but stop, yarn over, put your hook into the second space, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three, and then the final treble for that cluster, and then three trebles in the next space. So that's what you've got to do all the way round. You can see it and when you get all the way around and back to the beginning finish that off turn the blanket over to the front again and do a round of granny stripe on the front and uh, of course you don't have any of the decreasing bit, bits by that time it's just a simple stripe all the way around so when you see me again I will have I promise sewn in all the ends on that um, side of mini grannies that are still to be done. I'll have done the two rounds of stripe and we'll be ready to start attaching the next lot of granny squares. And after that, we are very much on the home straight. So I will see you in the next video with these stripes done and off with the next, off, to, off we go with the next section. Bye for now.